My name is Heather with Pets Plus Us. I'm joined by Honey here today and we're going to talk about how to make your own first aid kit for home and we're also going to talk about how to do one for hikes and in the car. So here at the office we have all our first aid items in a really big toolbox. You can see here you don't have to go with something quite this big. You can do something as simple as a Tupperware container or even a shoebox works. So the first and most important thing we have in our kit is a list of addresses and phone numbers of your vet and the vets that you're going to be traveling in the area to. And for the Pets Plus Us members, they get a little pamphlet of common household toxins. It also has the number for the pet poison hotline on it in case you need to call. And of course we have it in our handy little Ziploc bag so it does not get damaged if it drops into water or it rains. So the next things we're gonna talk about in our kit are bandage materials. This is in case Say Honey here gets a cut on her paw while we are out on our hike. We're going to keep our gauze materials in a plastic bag so they don't get ruined by wet as well. The first thing we're going to use is our gauze sponge. We're going to place that over our cut. Then we're going to use our gauze roll here and we're going to use this to keep our gauze in place. We're going to just lightly wrap this and this is of course in the meantime until you can get them to a vet. Bandage scissors. Next is our self-adhesive tape or vet wrap, we like to call it, and we're going to use this to keep everything in place. And it scissors again, and we're going to cut that. Perfect! Here we go! The next items we're going to talk about, which are good to have, are muzzles. Animals can act out of being painful and bite you even though they're your pets and they don't mean to. If they're painful, they can still bite while you're trying to treat them. So a good thing to have in your kit are muzzles. This is a cat muzzle here, but this is a soft type of muzzle. They do make them for dogs that fit over their muzzles. So this is a good item to have. You can also make a muzzle out of your gauze rolls. I'll just show you how it fits over honey here. And you just slide it down just like that. So the next items we're going to talk about in our kit are some great tools to have on hand. The first one, forceps. You can certainly just have a general pair of tweezers as well. So the forceps or tweezers are going to be used in case Honey were to get a thorn or splinter while out on our hike. You would just simply grab and pull. Okay, and the next items we're going to talk about, as seen before in the previous clip, are bandage scissors. Two kinds right here, and we're going to use these to cut our bandages. The next tool are nail clippers. This is in case we get a torn nail while we're out on our hike. Our nail clippers. You would cut the little bit off. And for any nails that are bleeding, we're going to use what is called styptic powder. And you would just simply hold. The next item we're going to talk about to have in our kit are tick twisters. So we've put a little demonstration tick here on Honey to show you how it works. There are great resources online on to how to properly remove ticks. Of course, if you're not comfortable, please see your veterinarian. All right, so we're going to place the teeth as close to the skin as you can get onto the tick. And you're going to twist and twist and twist until it pops off. So the next items we're going to talk about are some great wound care items to have in the kit. We're going to start over here with some antiseptic spray. We have some hand sanitizer, though you can just use your basic alcohol. And we have hydrogen peroxide. Hydrogen peroxide is a great item to have as well if you need to induce vomiting in your pet, but you're definitely going to want to call your veterinarian for any advice on how to give this and how much. The next items we have are some antiseptic creams. Your veterinarian most likely has some. They can sell over the counter. If they don't, you can just use basic polysporin from the drugstore. The next ones are some eye care items. So we have eye wash. If any dust particles get in your dog's eye out on the trail, you can flush them out. The last items here we have are in case of an allergic reaction in your pet. You're going to want to call your veterinarian for any dosages. For Benadryl, you're going to want to get just the simple allergy Benadryl. Do not get the sinus relief one and again call your veterinarian for any dosages on that. So we've done our basic home kit now we're gonna hit the trails and do our basic travel kit. Alright so the first thing of course you're gonna want to have something to keep your items in so we have a great little travel organizer here 
You can also grab some different size canvas bags available at the dollar store. All right, so we're gonna pack this guy up now. Some great space savers for your liquids and ointments, jars and spray bottles, some liquid bottles as well. This is available at the dollar store. You can grab this and put your ointments in it. So we're gonna put our alcohol, our hydrogen peroxide, our antiseptic ointments in here. You're gonna to wanna to label them, of course, with a permanent marker, don't forget. All right, so we're gonna pack a couple of these into our kit here. All right, there we go, perfect. All right, and of course, our bandage materials, again in a Ziploc bag, so they don't get damaged or wet. Pack those guys. All right, perfect. All right, next are our tools. So, our tweezers and our bandage scissors. Our nail trimmers and our septic powder are going in. All right, perfect. Next, medications. Your antihistamine. Oh. Our leash is next. Now, a leash, an extra leash is a great item to have. It can, one, double as a muzzle. And it can also be a great back-end support if your animal injures themselves on the trail. It can be put under their belly and used as a support to help them along. So we're gonna put an extra leash in here. There we go. All right, this is a what we call a soft e-collar. All right, so of course you're gonna to wanna to get the size that's according to your pet. That's what it looks like, folds up really easy into your kit. And most importantly, our phone numbers. There we go, and our Ziploc bag. We have everything in your kit here. We're gonna zip it up and we're gonna hit the trail. All right, backpack. Thanks for joining me and Honey today, everybody. I hope you found the segment enjoyable and informative. Make sure to check out our great online resources as well. If you'd like to leave any of your first aid tips and tricks below, please feel free to do so. We'd really enjoy reading them. And in the meantime, Honey and I are gonna go on our hike. Have a great day, everybody. Stay safe and pause up. All right, let's go.